42 men, 80 days, 3,500 icy kilometers. It's called Aloha Antarctica. And it's an expedition that will cover a previously unexplored route to the South Pole. The journey will involve pulling heavy sleds, traveling on skis, and even using giant kites. Dieter Stoudinger is one of the two adventurers about to embark on this incredible expedition. He's here with us in studio to tell us more about it. Oh my gosh, why are you doing this? I mean, I've been there and I've been in the sunny part of Antarctica, the peninsula. You're going to places that really we haven't, we haven't explored before. Well, and this is a, a big reason why. I mean, there's not a lot of places left on this planet. It's true. Um, and so Antarctica is, is like a, the last frontier. When I was there in 2008, I think it feels like going to the moon. It does feel like going yeah. to the moon. And what we just showed was from, I think, your previous expedition. Yes, yes, it was, yeah. Um, so so uh, you and your partner, you tried in 2008, mm -hmm. but the reason you had to abandon the journey was because of lack of wind, right? Yeah. Tell me about why wind is so important. Fill in the, the blank for us. Well, to give you an idea, the route we're trying to cover is 3,500 kilometers. So that's about from Toronto flying to Vancouver. Yeah. Um, walking that in 80 days is completely um, out of the question. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we need some mode of transportation and uh, the winds, generally speaking, are fairly consistent in Antarctica. Um, and in 2008, they were consistent in their absence. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So. What do you do with that? So, so you, you, you're going to go back again, and the idea is you yeah. use, I think we, here's the video of it, you use a mm -hmm. kite in order to help you traverse that amount of, of space. Yeah, those are, those are incredibly sophisticated um, pieces of equipment. Yeah. And actually, the kites we're using come from paragliding. So they, they're open, the closed cell kites that really are glorified air mattresses with lines on them. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's a very sophisticated system. And to give you an idea, last time our kites, the biggest one was six square meters. Mm -hmm. That red one that you're seeing mm -hmm. is 19 square meters. Wow. So, we so have, you're going to be flying we've jacked this. up the, yeah, the square um, footage. You've obviously, oh, yeah, and you've obviously, this is yeah. definitely not Antarctica. You've obviously been uh, preparing. Yeah, this is uh, Fuerteventura. Um, it's, an, uh, it's in the Canary Islands, mm -hmm. just off the coast of Africa, and we chose that place because of the trade winds coming from the Atlantic, bringing a very um, steady dose of wind, and which is perfect for, for what we're practicing for. And the challenges you have to face, I mean, you have to think of everything, I mean, from food to toilet paper. Everything. I mean, it's not like, you know, if it's not in a sled, you don't have it. Yeah. And you can't go to Walmart or whatever. And to you have to carry everything with it. you. Yeah, absolutely. You it's know. about 150 kilograms in each of our sleds. Oh, so, wow. so we're really hoping for a wind. <laughs> I bet you are. <laughs> so uh, people can follow you online? Yeah, be... we have a great website called alohaantarctica.com. And because uh, we'll be giving daily blog updates via satellite phone and they'll go straight onto our website. And uh, people can see on a map, um, we have, you know, it's the 21st century. We have all these gadgets where people can actually follow our progress on an interactive map, wow. um, and, and they can send us even ice mail, you know, little um, text messages over the satellite. You'll phone. be there in the summer. Uh, I, I use air quotes there. Uh, yeah. Summer, uh, yeah. leaving in November very quickly. Yeah. What's the temperature? The median te temperature while you're there? It'll start up with about minus 17, but once we're on the ice cap, it could be minus 30, 40. Minus 30, even, 40 even degrees Celsius. Deep, Celsius, even deeper than that. Yeah. And that's summer. And that's Good summer. luck, Dieter. I'll be following you. Thank I envy you. you. I think it's going to be an incredible journey for Thank you. Thank you. It is a great opportunity. Good on you.